Today is Tuesday, the 1st of August. My name is Celia Brink. I am the mayor of the Tswane Metro. I'm joined by Johan Mettler, the city manager. This lunchtime, the city of Tswane is under assault by unprotected strike action, the use of violence and intimidation. We're seeing the disruption of services, the delay in attending to water and electricity outages. Waste collection is likely to be affected. And even our most vulnerable residents that attend to facilities such as clinics are being targeted where we see personnel being chased out, clinics being closed. What is clearly happening here is that some workers, not the majority, think that by using violence and intimidation, the city could be brought to the negotiating table to agree to salary increases, which we've explained we do not have the money. We can't afford them. We are putting mitigations in place. The city manager will talk about disciplinary steps, but there will be disruption. And it is important that residents know what is at stake, that what we are fighting for is the future of the city, not just for services to residents, but to secure the jobs of officials and to make sure that we have a future uh, in this city. Last week, I issued three ultimatums to the employees who had engaged in an illegal and unprotected strike to cease with a strike action and to return to work immediately. Subsequent to that, I approached the Labour Court on an urgent basis to interdict the strike. The court ruled in my favour by declaring the strike illegal and unprotected. All my efforts to end the strike were disregarded and the continuous strike action is in contempt of the court interdict. I have therefore taken a decision to identify all those that have participated in this illegal strike and who stand to be at risk of being summarily dismissed. I've also taken a decision to release all non-essential staff from work for, with effect from 13 hour, hours today due to intimidation and victimization from the striking employees. The non-essential workers should continue to work from home for the remainder of the working hours of the day, but they have to return to work tomorrow. Lastly, the essential services, the essential workers should continue executing their duties and where they encounter intimidation or threats, they should report such incidents and we will deploy the police to enforce the law.